up. Especially because quite often Jojo will not really look for control mages. He'll look for something with agency. Yep. Like the Silas, like the Akali. Having the Galio into that, well, that's already nice. But you also get the comfort of playing on towards Arthur. And we want to see something where Arthur can take charge, where he can challenge Inspired. Because that's a jungle matchup that is very pivotal. The tree has been banned. Maokai, of course, on the per uh, uh, not going to be available. So don't have to deal with him at least. A different tank jungler, it looks like here. Said 20 for Inspired could also be for Impact. Actually, as I said for that. Pick. Wow. You know, I said I just said, you know, Jojo, not really looking for these control mages, but I think you understand what Tally is looking for as well. I think you you know that if you go into the control mage matchup, you're gonna be happy. It does leave open the fact that you can pick Seraphine into the Asir. We've seen Tally do that before as well. And shaking the control mage matchup would be very interesting though, and a lot of pressure would be put on Tally. Zir, pretty good. Jojo also, uh, of the control mage, is one of the ones he wow, has a bit okay. more experience on. But Victor going to be there for Tally. So matching the matchup, which we'll see how that works out. Aatrox also notably banned by EG, despite having first pick. So just wanting to keep it out of the game completely. So normally laning phase matchup feels good for Victor. You you, you just shove off the Asir. You can go for um, first strike as well and get the first move on it. It's later into the game where Asir starts leaving his impact. And now we talked about Arthur, something where he could drive the game. He's now picking Sin. I'm not sure if it's the same kind of driver I was looking for, but it most certainly allowed playmaking potential to arrive. Yeah, it's certainly as far as, again, we heard just from the desk. Good homework there, lads. Uh, he's most played champion, one of his best champions, certainly in his region. He is the best Lee Sin. So definitely defaulting a bit to comfort here, it feels like the Chiefs, especially for Arthur, who has been the standout player so far and was kind of expected to be the star as far as domestic performance went. But that does give inspired Hecarim as Jojo teases us once again. Yeah, and I feel like you just grab the MF as well if you want to, put that on top. Nautilus, Leona, and Mooma all up and available, so no matter what, you will get an engage option should some of them be banned away. And it just pairs well into what you have. Uh, I mean, in terms of getting an AD carry right now, that misfortune would really be nice. Interesting. This is interesting. Leona. Very, very interesting in terms of the priority that they want to show for themselves because this allows them to go for an AD carry of their choice, ban two away that you don't want to deal with on the side of Chiefs. Because uh, you're not, I mean, you're not really going to look to first pick a support or counter a support right now. There's still loads of tools available in terms of disengage like the Braum, counter engage like the Moomin Nautilus. I think you could go for an AD carry and just get what you want, but they're actually just going to say, you know what, we value Nautilus this much uh, against the Leonis. We will grab it now. Yeah, matching picks basically not wanting to lose any potential options and mismatches in phase two. So now we're going to have same lanes targeted here. Horn, in band the way for impact. So just a lot of the team fighting tool. Once again, Sejuani is still available for either side. Should that be one they're looking for? If a Camille Bank comes through now, then Chiefs are definitely looking for Sejuani on for themselves. And then that's something that EG might have to be worried about. Uh, but no, it is going to be that misfortune that we talked about. Good band there. Been very popular AD, as we just saw. Also been pretty effective in most of the games. Good in lane, great in team fights, good ulti, etc., etc. Gwen, the other band. Taking carries away from Topoon, I imagine Impact will line up a second band here as well. And obviously, we'll, yeah, we'll have to likely blind his matchup, given that there's already a mid laner, so I assume Chiefs are saving counter pick. Yeah, so AD carry is just probably what's going to come through over from the side of Raze. Kaiser is going to be banned away. Aphelios, Tristana, two still very strong AD carries up and available for the side of Chiefs. Should they look for it? Raze has been playing quite a bit of Aphelios in the past if that is the one that they're going to be looking for. They're still talking, and yep, there it is, locked in by Rain. Yep, also kind of the best AD left right now, so might as well take it. Caitlyn notably is actually still in the draft. I have a fun fact for you. Despite Caitlyn having an 87 or 81% bad presence in terms of the draft, she has 0% win rate. She's been led through Ooh. two times. Carry lost the first one. Upset lost the second one earlier today. Oh, that's true. I remember that. I remember that game. We were there. Yeah, we were there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, maybe following suit here, EG actually going to go ahead and take Ezreal here for Kauri. So that usually speaks to the fact that you want to play up towards the top side instead. It allows you to move around the map. Getting impact on the Gangplank makes a lot of sense. He's one of the few top laners that's actually still been able to make it work despite the changes coming into the Gangplank. And now, Tapoon, with the counter matchup, needs to make the most of it in this case. Unironically, the Vladimir matchup is actually really good into Gangplank. Yep. You barely ever get hit by the barrels. Your range, which means that GP can't have the same harass against you that he usually has against me melee minions. Uh, not minions, melee champions. And the other thing is that you match the scaling aspect uh, that GP provides. Yeah. It's always funny, it doesn't take much for AD carries to go back to Ezreal. One little buff, and he's back. 
he is just one of the more well-rounded AD carries in terms of like not so much the kiting you would get from like Jinx or Vayne or the likes of that, but more so the fact that you got mobility in terms of keeping yourself safe with your arcane shift. You got long range poke. You got the possibility to play an attack speed build. You can play lethality. You can even play him AP and, and it allows your support to play the map. So yeah, super well rounded in terms of what it brings. And curious to see how Vulcan is going to use this time that he'll be getting away from the lane. All right, well, having a look, one of the only real differences, again, I said these comps seem kind of similar. You highlighted some of the differences there. The other one is actually Topoon Summoner Spell, Ghost Ignite for the Vlad here. So looking to apply quite a bit more pressure, especially if Arthur comes to visit, which I have to imagine, especially with Arthur starting on this side of the map, the impact is going to be an early target for the Chief Strangler. Well, Tally just got hit, so First Strike won't have value in this instance, and Jojo actually getting the push in first. So feels good for Jojo here. Tally once again, eyes on him. It is uh, Jojo's territory here. It is uh, his mid lane. And you are just visiting for now, but of course an opportunity to take it over. We all know about colonizing, of course. Surely you wouldn't beat the enemy mid laner on his birthday. That is very true. That is true, but you, sometimes you have to. Yep, sometimes you gotta do it to him. There's a little hook there from Aladoric, but just some trading back there. Vulcan not too near about the situation. Very curious again how Toppo is playing out, especially in the early levels. Vladimir typically needs levels to get things going. Once you have max rank transfusion, things look better. Vulcan though, continuing to eat hooks, but look, looks like they're racing to level two, and they're gonna win the race here. Oh, Vulcan in there, forcing a flash. Oh, Kari. Hello. Still level Hello. two, looking for it. That is supremely aggressive. Love to see it there. And it's just a good window, right? Most champions are like, oh, most Astros feels like, I can't hit Archangel Force, I'll get caught. He knows they're still level one, so he has a window to look for it. It's a great start from the EG substitute coming through there. Eldoric also like they had hooked still on cooldown after Vulcan got hooked earlier. So nice little level two play. He's going to force Ray's back early. So we'll be off to a small lead, but nothing massive there early on for EG. But still, might as well take what you can get. Love the aggressive look there. Yeah, look at the sustain now on the top side because Impact, he's running low on mana. He's shot, being shoved in with a large wave coming towards him. And Jungler is actually in the same position. Currently, Inspired is clearing up his Grump and is not really looking to shadow him as of right now. You can see he's going back down to the walls. So Arthur may have a window where he can try and look, but once again, sustain of the Hagrim is uh, not to be messed around with, at least. Yeah. Doesn't hit the Q. Now he's going to be on a ward. Impact knows that this was a possibility. So Arthur going to be spotted, but Inspired already charging down. Now level four, happy to fight, but Arthur just ward hops away to safety. Tally though, oh my goodness, getting bullied by this Azir. Most certainly. Usually once again, Azir kind of gets to push in this lane, but since Jojo got the soldiers over the wall when they were walking to lane, he took charge in terms of the HP, and that just allowed him to go for more aggressive trades. And now Inspired chasing down Arthur earlier. Did use that ghost, but forced him away and is now in a position where he can start counter jungling a little bit making his way towards level 6 that much faster and also delaying Arthur's level 6 fight. I think you also mentioned this, but we did see Vulcan on our screens very briefly. Bad recall spot for Inspired, gonna be okay though. Uh, that's the other thing Ezreal does, right? Very self-reliant as an AD carry, so you can leave him weak side and have Vulcan room exceptionally early to help cover Inspired's counter jungle attempt. Now, Aladoric, his turn to be out and about. The walkabout on the map here, going for some roam timings, but Jojo, not using the E in lane, still keeping it just as a safety net. And because of that, there's not really much Alodori can look for. Yeah, it's got a curb trade as well. Arthur gets the bottom one. Inspire got the top one. Is a head still on XP and slightly in farm as well. But it looks like things will cool down just a little bit there. Tally, despite getting harassed, is keeping the CS even, which is nice to see. Definitely, like like many people early in the tournament, had a rough time against you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, who can blame him? But either way, it's really one of these games where we're waiting for the level 6 to come through, um, especially from Arthur as well, to have that playmaking potential on the Lee Sin. And the same can be said, of course, for the Hacker and with Inspired. You can see how the lane kind of goes here. Once again, GP can't really have that same mark in the lane where he's usually a bully and taking charge of the wave and pushing you back because he's playing against the range. Not only that, he's playing against a champion that sustains majority of it off again. Um, so it's just horrible lane to play in. And even level 6, there is kill pressure for Toon Poon if you're not careful. Yeah, especially with the Ignite. About two waves ahead right now. So Topoon looking good with his counter pick here against the Impact GP, a classic of his champion repertoire. Inspired poking around here. No level six though, and is spotted on the speed trunk, which we did know about. So just threatening, I think, making sure the wave gets in safely more than anything else. And now gonna go back to jungling and get that level six as fast as he can. Massively ahead of Arthur as far as farm goes, and should be six quite a bit faster. Yeah, and in terms of just looking forward into the game, 
Oh, they're not. Uh, in terms of looking forward into the game, getting that first rotation for the Rift Tower is going to be really interesting. Because on one hand, you have a bot lane from EG that can just send Vulcan up there. But on the other one, you have Chiefs, who has the poon that most of the time gets the push on the Vladimir and has also just hit the level 6. So there's definitely two factors to play for and one keeping you back on both sides. Yeah, Impact is trying to chill. Already used that TP early to go ahead and grab the Sheen. Again, the Boon doesn't have TP. So we'll have to kind of stay and apply pressure, but a Manalus health regening champion is pretty good at sticking in lanes for absurd long amounts of time. Good ward kill there, but no uh, no brush success there for the potential play out of the EG bottom lane as Jojo continues to bully Tally here. Yep, not the most fun lane that Tally is under currently here, but Jojo, he keeps at it. Inspired, back in the position we've seen him in before, just counter jungling away, getting all the small raptors. No ignite for us. Oh, sorry, no smite. No ignite either, but no smite for us. <laughs> Means he was never going to get that. Also, level six for Inspired has a look mid Tally out of mana. Forced to use the ulti to try and clear the wave again. Now it feels like you come back, maybe get the flash. Tally's definitely someone you can look to maybe dive here if Jojo sets it up again. Oh yeah, and now with the blue buff not being taken as well from the side of Arthur with the level advantage that Inspired has, with mid lane being pushed in by Jojo and bot lane as well from EG having the first move, you could try and get aggressive, but for now, they're just utilizing it on the river scuttle. Very relaxed early game here for EG. I think they know that like, just don't want to do anything dumb. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, you would tell me about it. I, like, you're the, you're the expert on this matter. Well, aggressive. I do do silly things. Vulcan also perhaps a bit silly in tower range there. Forced to flash away, but Kauri getting aggressive as well. Arthur in the mix nice and quickly. Gonna force Kauri's flash all the same. Aldoric gonna dodge it. Oh, and that's a very close affair in between both teams. Some of the spells burn a lot from the EG bot lane. No flash, no heal, and no flash from Vulcan either, while Ray still continues to have his. Could be good in a potential rotation if you wanted to force a fight now up on that top side. So definitely would like to see Aladoric make his move up there to the Rift Hell now that it's spawning in less than 10 seconds. Yeah, Rez gets to stay. If you couldn't wait around long enough, wanted to push the wave in and get back. So going to be even at the end of the day. Ray should be able to get most of those minions and even up the CS and take his shop. Once again, Jojo getting aggressive onto Tally. Not sure how much first strike has happened. Yeah, you so know, I, was thinking, I really wonder if he's actually gained any gold by the first strike just yet, because the way that Jojo has been playing that lane, he's really just been starving him out. Top side again. Impact actually back down. This top has been manicuring the waves nicely and continuing to apply pressure. That's so many comets. As Vulcan and Aladoric both hovering around the mid lane, kind of reading the same play. Also, Rift Herald's up, so people want to be in the area. Kauri already rotating in, so is Ray, so it could be a 5v5 here. And remember these summoner spells Vulcan doesn't have to flash. Kauri doesn't have no one flash either. Impact, Ready looking to for go. flank. Dojo moving on in. Topoon the target there. Inspired with a big ulti. Topoon going to be forced away, but Tally straight in front of everyone else. And who but Jojo to get first blood? Yep, they just come in with a pin some Yunua there. Inspired also finding the flank on them afterwards with the Hecarim ultimate. And despite the move being first from Chief, they don't really find a target to compile the damage on. They don't really use the advantage that they currently have. And EJ, they, EG, they just punish the lack of hesitation. All right, well, once again, at the end of the day, first blood, nice, bit of extra gold. Jojo dodging that hook very deftly, but it's inspired to watch there. He's going to go ahead and pick up that rift out, although Arthur is revisiting as the Vulcan is camping this top side, maybe thinking that someone's going to poke around. Arthur is in the area, looking to take the Krogs. Could be a dive here, maybe a quick pop of the Herald as well, but looks like EG are going to take the Herald and back away. I think we can all agree that you're not diving in Vladimir uh, with the pool available to him. Mm, yeah. Yeah, all right, good. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're both on the yeah, same yeah, wavelength. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. I was, up, I was up for the argument, so it's like, uh, well, you just waited out. Well, I guess that's true. But having a look at the replay again, you can see it there. Impact spotted on Vision, finds a great barrel. Jojo comes around, all of a sudden, lots of chaos, creative, and just the rest of Chiefs, they're just split apart. Great pickup on towards Taddy, no flash any longer, and just goes down. What an ang there from Inspired. I was oh, like, yeah. How did he get over there? Isn't that flash? It's like, bolted over. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you sense. do that? Now, Tally getting oh, ulted backwards. Oh, Dojo saved the ulti from earlier, and Inspired's here again, and Tally once again under duress. Kill goes to Dojo. Happy birthday, buddy. There's two. Easy as, easy as. Two over to Jojo. Mid lane pushed in. Tally goes down once again, and slowly but surely. EG are just accumulating leads for themselves. Griftel still in that position, goes aggressive. Gets the cleanse and the flash. Vulcan are going to get out of there because the Nautilus ult is coming on through. Gravity Gun is there as well. Vulcan though standing. Kauri goes forward past the enemy support, trying to deal damage to Raze. 
Once again, long range gun is there, but no activate, I believe, for the Root. As Inspired's here, trying to bait them in. Now has to get in there, because Arthur would have gone in otherwise. Well, he doesn't really see the need to go in there, Arthur, and I respect it as well. You are just getting cancelled by the Hecarim Wii into the ultimate, and you die. Now Tally... Oh, gets out of the gravity field just barely. Jojo giving him a thumbs up. Starting to feel himself here in this lane. He is so far ahead in CS, by the way. Oh, yeah. I think when he's going back here, he's going to be picking himself up some nice items. Now, while Jojo is going back, Chiefs at least are getting some objectives on the map, picking up the first straight, but Inspired is around uh -oh. to stop this. Jojo's here as well. TP backing with a Ludens, but it's a temporary 3v2 if they want to go for it here. Inspired just looking for the steal, it looks like here. Gonna go oh, in. he oh, gets it. Are you kidding me? There's the ulti as well. Surely they can follow up here. Aladoric in trouble. It is inspired. Low will go down as Kauri gets the kill onto Aladoric. So money back to Tally, but Jojo's in there with his buddy, best buddy Vulcan. No kill this time though. Tally gets away. Arthur also trying to thread the needle. Finds the kill onto Jojo. Here's Topoon. Big flank angle there. Jojo gets away. It's Vulcan. It's maybe going to have to sacrifice himself, but it's a step too far for the boys on EG. As Reyes grabs one onto Jojo. They traded one for one. Vulcan actually gets a kill on Arthur in the back line. But of course, getting that shot down over on Vladimir, that's going to be great for him. But at the same time, they're losing so many resources by going for this play. This is what happens when you take the Ghost over the Teleport, for example. So despite Sapoon had, having had a great laning phase so far, he's actually behind in gold and probably also experienced now to impact. It's the GP Classic. You just never leave your lane. Ulti when your friends are in trouble and keep smacking down the tile plates as Vlad has to leave or watch this one again inspired. How on earth did you steal this? I think it's just going to be a Q and an auto attack together with the smite. For Arthur, you only really have to execute when your Sonic Wave is up. And I wonder... Well, the Sonic Wave is there. No, he just times it better than Arthur does and he gets an ultimate in afterwards. And then that is just a great fight for EG. You can say they may be overcommitting a little bit. Heal comes through from Kari a little too late as well, also on Tally. But either way, you take it. Very hyphy from Jojo, but not uh, something we're uh, not accustomed to. As Aladoric gets himself swept in after finding the hook. He's a little low on health. Trapped behind the wall, but he walks past it. Still too late. Inspired picks one up. And that's a great disengage from Jojo there, performing not only just under Champions with Agency, but now also with the Control Mages here on the Asir. Inspired where we so often see him in the enemy jungle and there's not much they can do to stop him. There is so many camps up for him to take. Rift Herald also available. Pressure points coming through from EG and Chiefs. How do you respond? Yeah, Rift Herald just popped. Blue buff's gonna go ahead and get stolen as well as Inspired continues to get further and further ahead. Arthur trying to run interference on the Herald. Should be able to do it. Yep, there it I get smacked and no plates given over. A nice little win there for Chiefs. I imagine the Rift Herald was running low as far as time is concerned, but still up 3,000 gold for EG. It's fine. Still looking for Arthur. I'm surprised at the same level with the amount of camps that's been taken away yeah. from Arthur. But then again, there's a whole red side for Inspire to pick up afterwards as well. Tower in the top side with no Herald invested has also become too, well, very critical HP up there. That's true. Impact has been farming away the enemy tower not gonna leave has the tp unleashed as well doesn't have it up by the looks of things yeah just used it has his reaver done but he's gonna stick around as long as he can it feels like top Hoon's advantage is somewhat dissolved here in the top side impact pressure is just mounting and i think for eg as well with this game while it's looking pretty good for them so far and there's obviously still chances for chiefs to get back into it if eg were to take this game and tie with fnatic they still have a chance to be first in this group with just skipping out on playing the knockouts and going straight up to the main stage. Winning these games are actually so crucial for EG, so despite it looking good right now, it needs to continue to look good. Yeah, absolutely. And EG also a team, like, we heard it, you know, from JoJo, from Inspired. Obviously, opening day, not so hot. So wanting to continue to learn, adapt, and scale as the tournament goes on. But they vote with you. Kings of vote with you right here. <laughs> hey, look. Not everyone looks at their games. Definitely these players do. All, the, mean, pro, all the pro players do, I imagine. Yeah. Me, not so much. <laughs> that is very fair. Also. Now, cross maps are coming through. Blue buffs getting taken away. They want to get something back, but they're not getting it for free. No, and Spy gets it instead. Vulcan stuns the blue buff, but I think he falls to flash as well. Maybe Eldar close, but perhaps not. But still, EG trying to defend. Chiefs popping in. At least trying to get something going, but not over committing on the attempt there again. Behind, but not so far behind that they can't find a way back into this game.
Now they're looking around Jojo here. He doesn't really have too much warding on the left side. And there you see it gets stopped. Really, really trying to pick on the birthday boy, but it might work out this time around. Damage is there. Ray is going to pick one up. And Aladoric is going to be traded away as Inspire continues to rack up kills. Has the Triforce done? Vulcan into stasis. But Ray is still pretty threatening. Arthur finds the Q. Tapoon there with the ulti. Going to try and make it happen. Impact really getting in oh, there. The airy. Big barrel, but Tapoon picked it up with the area at the end of the day. And Chiefs get away with two. That is one angry little airy there. That was so fast as well. That's an execute if I've ever seen one. My word. So kills are going over in the favor of Chiefs. They're picking up Jojo, who's just too far forward in lane. And despite trying to go away with the banana drift, he's not really able to it without getting stopped by Eldoric. And yeah, Noodle is pretty good at locking people down, yay. He said it. Jojo's like, hello, I'm here in the middle of the middle lane. Like, you can't be there. This is why. He's got the members backing him up, though, right? They're ready to try and be there. Arthur's actually the one who stops the dash. Elador with the ultimate. And then just finding it to set up his team. Will still go down for one, but they, in the grand picture here, two kills going over to Chief. That's definitely something you're happy about when you've been struggling to leave your mark on the early game. Will Larry... Oh, Human Plague still ticking away. Boink! <laughs> <laughs> All um, right. Well, Drake's been taken by Chiefs. Fight breaks out. Certainly does. Inspired right in there. Pretty strong right now. Aladoric, no hope of getting out of this one, but can everyone else get away safely? Tally is here to reinforce. But Jojo trying to make the big play. A great flash out of Raze, but the setup's still there. There's nothing you can do. EG are going to help to ace the Chiefs. It's only Tapoon left alive in top lane. Oh, and it's a slaughter. 17 minutes into the game. They're already knocking at the base. You can see the only mid lane turret standing is the inhibitor, and they pick up the kills in the team fight. Chiefs, they get the Mountain Drake. They get one objective for themselves, but they pay a hell of a lot for it. Yeah, four towers to zero. Rift Tower, I believe, was picked up as well. Indeed, summoned in mid, as you can see. And Vulcan's just getting in there. Yeah, he definitely is. But the problem is that the Chiefs members are not really in a position to start off a team fight. So Poon, as you said, still on the top side. Went for the Ghost and Ignite. Down on the bot side, Tally is on the Victor. Just not able to be in a position to fight at any point in time. And when he finally joins the team, well, he's only joining them to die with them. So at least the captain goes down with his ship. But yeah, so doing inspired. More than enough damage, more than enough range to re-engage on that fight. A clean full piece there for EG. Inspired's feeling pretty good with the Trinity Force and four kills. And his team is very far ahead. 6,000 gold up right now as Aladark once again. Just kind of happens on support sometimes when you're on the losing side. You just get donated to the enemy team over and over. Oh, they found a pet. They're just keeping him up. Oh, never mind. Slaughtered in the jungle. Inspired continuing to rack up that gold. I think Vulcan definitely thought about taking that kill, but probably I would have done it. it. I mean, yeah, me too. But that's why he I'm even pushed it out of Kaori's ultimate. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. They really tried to deny him a lot there, Jojo. Or not Jojo, rather. Inspired in the end, getting it. Now mid lane being pushed in by set Jojo. Down at the bot side. Impact pushing in a wave. They're playing on two. Vulcan on the flank position, forcing to poon away for the turret potentially. Yeah, I don't think you can really defend this as Chiefs. I think they'll give it up and agree. Ray's too busy dealing with the pressure in mid, so another tower goes down. Inspired is just in there. The damage on Aladoric again. You are not tanky, my friend. Ooh, true shot barrage. Does not connect to its target. That's so true this time around. Jojo finding Tally. We've seen this one before. Let's see how it goes this time. Just bullying him. Jojo. 1v1 oh, on. and Tally. Tally looking all right, but in the end, it is going to be Jojo getting that kill. Just barely, though. Oh, the burn damage. Hey! There we go. The one for one up in the top side. Tally. Not going to go down four times without a fight. Message sent and received by Jojo. He will definitely do it again. Vulcan, nice little catch, but who's caught here? Kick back as Kauri's in there. Lord of though, is going to make it a bit problematic as Impact roaming in. A Kaladoric again, just going to melt. Raze goes down to the GPTP and well worth it for Evil Geniuses. Yeah, and that's the story so far of the game. Chiefs, they get something, but EJ, they just get so much more. And now three members pushing in the mid lane turret. 20 minutes will be on the clock soon, so taking the inhibitor would still give you pressure in terms of picking up a Baron, but for now, they're going to deny them the extra gold and the experience you get by the supers. 11,000 gold ahead as we we'll watch this 1v1 again. Jojo just feeling himself today. Oh, he is, but still, Tally, pretty much connecting with all the abilities that he has. Not a single laser was missed, and then the Chaos Storm with the Leandris Burn and the minions is enough to at least finish the job. So good on Tally for trading it back. Problem is, doesn't amount to much. Vulcan invading. 
Again, taking the aggressive angle, but EG definitely feeling confident here. Taking maybe some risky plays, but still working out nonetheless, even with Vulcan going down here. Just having a bit of fun here. And you can see Impact yeah. comes around with it. Double kill, picked up. He's even got a nice little vacation skin on there as well. Just chilling. Well, he's actually not out traveling. Really. Well, they are in Mexico. That's outside of America. That is true. All accurate geographical facts here from GB. Prowl's called done for Impact as well. I just like taking a chill, you know, there's a Drake coming up, less than one minute. No need to overforce it now, no need to throw it away. You have such a big gold lead. You don't have to just throw yourself at them, but, but Impact might find Raze. But yep. they will. Yep, probably. If Impact is doing this, yes. it's, they're feeling it. Okay. Impact is like the chill one. <laughs> <laughs> so if he's aggressive, then you know that this team is looking for something. Now, he's also gone for the Prowler's build, so if he gets in melee range of Ray's, he'll just straight on Prowler's on towards him. So it's a good flash by Ray's. He would have get hunted down for sure. Now, mid lane priority is gain. That's going to give you access to the rest of the map in terms of the enemy jungle. You can move up towards the top side, move down towards the bot side as Drake is spawning in less than 10 seconds. But EG, they have their sights on the top Inspired side. Inspired is the same level as the solo laners. And Arthur is level 10. <laughs> Yeah. Just wanting to put that out there. I, I think that's the reason why a lot of people don't really like the Lee Sin matchup into the Hecarim, but you know, who knows? Maladark close to flash away. Volk being pretty accurate so far on his Leona. But uh, you know, worked it here before, got the in-hip tower in min, gonna take the one in bot, maybe get the in-him for funsies at the end of it all. Are uh, gonna break one here. Impact continuing to fight. Takoon doing a decent amount of damage Ooh. over the wall, but there is more where that came from on the EG side as Impact rejoins and Inspired continuing to be an absolute menace. First inhibitor goes down, second one is next. Are they just going to try and end the game here 22 minutes into the game? Surely not. Kauri may be in trouble, he goes in instead. Now Arthur looking for the kick, finds it on the Kauri, but he gets out of there with the flash. Arthur still fighting out, the ulti not too bad out of the Vladimir. Vitaly taking too much damage and the wallet dip is too great for Chiefs, even with Arthur's decent kick there. Yep everything at them but lots of abilities didn't actually connect there jojo's ultimate wasn't really in a position to pick up a kill and i actually think it's quite quite a miracle that no one from chiefs went down in that instant they tried to look for the fight they have to at some point but they're just so far behind it's so difficult finding it yep there is an infernal dragon up and available also worth a bit of extra money as well glowing yellow there as you can see on your mini map inspired in the area if they pick him up on the dragon could be good well TP's in. They're going for it again. I know that they are going to play nice and aggressive, not wanting to give anything away. I did check, by the way, what the fastest game of Worlds this year was. Unfortunately, we have just passed it. There have been some absolute bangers. In fact, it was still loud versus TFM. Oh, yeah. It was that game. So right, we're not there yet. EG can't break any sort of speed records for this world, but still feeling very comfy here in this game. They can break slow records if they want to. You can keep this game <laughs> very slow from now on. I make that record. I imagine it. that. You're like, God. I know we're like 12-ish K ahead. Yeah. Because, you know, they can't see the numbers. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still have a scaling aspect. I mean, so do they, but what if, flip it. What if we try to break the record for the longest game? Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I think EG wants to celebrate JoJo's birthday as early as possible. They're going to try and get this one done and dusted swiftly. I mean, one person at least to feel bad for is Lyric. He's going to be doing a shoe in a Crocs yeah. with Red Bull in a bit. I'm not sure how he's going to manage that. That's going to be Red Bull all over his face, but we're getting there. I think with uh, enough ingenuity and duct tape, you can figure it out. You might have to, like, do some, uh, some croc engineering. Oh, yeah. That, that, I mean, just, what is that? Thrift my, it, what, what's the word? What, there's, like, uh, thrift my ride or something like that. It's just, like, do it with my crocs instead. <laughs> Pimp my ride. Pimp, pimp, my, pimp my crocs. Pimp my crocs has been called. Well, even without his signature footwear, it seems like JoJo is just fine here in this game. Inspired diving in once again. Oh my goodness. They are just melting as JoJo zips back in. Inspired and carrying a pick on Topoon. And I think this might be the ace that ends the game. They only needed one. EG going to pick up their third win here at Worlds. And with that, they keep their hopes and dreams alive for the first seed. It is out of their hands. Fnatic would have to drop a game tomorrow and EG would have to win it. Either way, the chance is there for me, EG. And, you know, they're going to have to wait a while if they want to pet that KDA. Yeah, we're still talking eight seconds on the Nautilus. 
All right, guys, go on. No, nope. the minions are gonna deny it. No extra KDA, no more kills for the birthday boy. Done and dusted in this game. EG with a very clean looking win. Hell yeah. And yeah, no longer Inna's 17 year old hope, now Inna's 18 year old hope. And there's a cake <laughs> prepared for him, of course there is. Incredible! <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. If you can't bring food to the studio, find other measurements. And what? Jojo walking around with his cake, potentially want to share it with the fans. Birthday hats are back on as well. I will say, he did replace his signature crocs with some pretty cool looking sneakers, but it looks like